In this video, we're going to take a look at creating text that runs around a curve. So there are two ways to do this. I'll show you both ways. So here you can see I've got a circle that's drawn and I want to create some text around this. So if I go to create vector text, let's click somewhere. Let's create the text that I want. like so. And then what I need to do is select the vector that I want this to be on a curve. So I'll just close that. And I'm just concentrated on this on a curve section. So if I select curve, so this is selected, select curve, and then this becomes the curve that I'm wrapping this text around. Now, you'll notice that I've got this blue marker here. Now, if I select that and drag it, I can snap to various points. So I can snap to the quadrants on this particular circle. Okay, let's snap to the top of there, like so. Now, if I wanted the start of it to be there, then what I would need to do is click on the left alignment tool at the top there. And then that would move that to be at the left. And then I can move that around and snap that point to wherever I wanted. I could do it to the right, so it's the end of it. And then that would snap to the top, like so. I'll just put it back to the center and then snap on there. Now, let's say that I wanted this to be above the line. So let's say I want this to be above line, which is correct. But let's say that I wanted it to be a little bit more above the line. So what I can do is change that space in there. And then this will go above the line. Now what if I wanted it to be just a little bit below the line? Let's bring it down and it will start coming down. Or I can select, I want this to be below the line and it will come inside the line. Again, I could do baseline, so that's the start. Center on ascent, so it's the center there. Center on strikeout, so that's the actual center of the text below line that I've mentioned earlier. So let's put this back to being above line. And let's drop it down. Let's say to there. Okay, so you can also do this on the other side of the curve. So if I select there, it rotates this around and it's on the other side. And then I can drop that down, or drop that up to bring it more inside, like so. And I can move that around. The alignment. Rather than having a line to curve, I could have vertical. Okay, so I'll do that on the other side like so, and it keeps all the text vertical. I could also change it to sweep around curve and also stretch to fit curve, so it does the whole of the curve. So if I go back to a line to curve, and then when you're happy with it, select create. Okay, so let me delete that curve now, and let's delete the text. I'll show you a different way that you can do this. So let's use a different sort of curve. So let's create a polyline, and I'm going to draw a smooth curve. So maybe let's just draw, let's say something like that. And this is what I want to sweep my text along. So what I'm going to do this time is leave that selected when I go into the text tool, and you'll notice the difference. So if I select text with that selected, you can see that my start point is now on this curve. So if I were then to type in Carveco Maker, it becomes automatically aligned to this curve. And then I can edit this the same way that I just done that. So this is how you create text around a curve. Now, one thing to bear in mind is once you've created this, 
If I were to delete that curve, I wouldn't be able to go in and edit it again. So if I were to go and edit that text block now, I can edit it, okay? And I can change how this actually looks. If I were to delete the curve, then it doesn't have anything to work off. So it doesn't know what the curve is. It's not there anymore. So if I were to then right click and edit that, it would go back to being straight text because it hasn't got that curve anymore. Okay, so if you do need to edit it in the future, you need to make sure that you keep that curve. Okay, so that's how to create text that's on a curve.